So I've been thinking. I recently learned a concept from one of my favorite authors. His name is Ryan Holiday. This is someone who is a very accomplished author in the self-development space. And he has written books like Stillness is the Key, The Obstacle is the Way, and The Daily Stoic. And The Daily Stoic especially is a book that I've learned so much from a whole lot. And he spoke about this concept saying, do not ask for the third thing. And you might ask, what's the third thing? So you've done something, it has been received, or someone has benefited from it. The third thing will be the credits, the appreciation, the applause, the payback, the parade, the recognition. And this is such a powerful concept, and I don't just think about it in doing someone a favor. Even you can apply this to every part of your life. For example, you start going to the gym. You've gone to the gym, the first thing. You've worked out, the second thing. The third thing would be constantly checking in the mirror to see if your six packs have started coming out, if your abs have started forming, or if your ass has started getting bigger. Or, for example, when you work in, in a, on a project, you've done the work, the work has been received. The third thing will be, uh, when, is the mot- when is the money hitting my bank account? Obviously, I'm not saying if you do work for someone, you shouldn't get your money. But that shouldn't be the motivation for why you're doing it. Or another example is, you're a creative. Let's say you're a musician, and you know that you need to use social media so you know you need to create content regularly now you've made your music you've posted it and it has been received you've posted your content and people have seen it the third thing would be the likes the comments the reposts the shares the validation oh you're such a great musician oh this song is fire fire emoji um what are emoji love struck emoji and all of that stuff that's the third thing or another and this is something that affects creatives a lot it's something that makes people not put themselves out there a lot and not only creative to be honest people in any sector maybe you feel like you just need to put yourself out there you know so this stops a lot of people from putting themselves out there because they seek the let me not say they like i'm some alien who doesn't who's not affected by this we seek the third thing a lot the validation from posting or the recognition from posting or the repost or the likes and especially in my example recently i started posting every day on tiktok and i realized that because this is a concept that i'm just learning so i realized that whenever i post i want to go see how many views it's going viral and I'm constantly stuck on 200 views. <laughs> but that's part of seeking the third thing because I have made the content. I have done the creative work. I've made the content and posted. I need to forget about the third thing, which is the results, the views, the likes and all of that. Another example is showing up for people. You know, you feel like you show up for someone they've seen you they've appreciated they've appreciated it now you want them to show up for you which is the third thing you know so it's just a way to remove our minds from the slavery of expectations expectations really kills expectations really kill and there are times that you do stuff for people and you just feel like this person should appreciate it more or this person should say thank you more, or this person should do the same for me. You know, we do things because we want to receive it in return. And this concept is just to remove our minds from that. You might think that, let's say, because you've done something for someone, that person should do something in return for you. But when you keep your mind enslaved to that expectation, most times it's usually cut short. Something I'm even learning is, to have zero expectations of anyone. Like if I want to do something, I want to do it from my heart and I want it to land. 
I want the person to receive it. And I'm learning to derive satisfaction in the landing and not in the getting back. And this is just a concept that I wanted to share with you because I feel like expectations hold a lot of us back. It, hold, it holds a lot of us back from doing things for people. It holds a lot of us back from, it might hold you back from even doing things for yourself because you feel like if you put consistent work out there you need to get a certain result but nobody owes you results the world doesn't owe you results your people don't owe you results from things you do for them do from a place of doing and not from a place of receiving peace and love